Many assume that the Vatican, the iconic stronghold of Christianity, is no friend to science. But contrary to this popular belief, the church has a scientific tradition that goes back centuries. Rising up out of the long halls of the Vatican museums, this square tower is off limits to the hordes of tourists passing below. But inside is one of the most remarkable rooms in the Vatican. Built in 1580, it's called the Tower of the Winds. The Julian calendar was instituted in 45 BC by Julius Caesar himself, but by the time the tower was constructed, suspicion was building that Caesar's calendar was slipping. This uh, whole room is a scientific instrument created to show to the Pope that uh, the old Julian calendar was wrong. This room was designed to check the accuracy of the calendar by measuring the altitude of the sun at noon according to the meteorological seasons. At midday, the sun it projects a spot of light near this meridian. On the spring equinox, the sunbeam should hit this symbol embedded in the floor. But when it came, the beam was off. proving the calendar was wrong. A solar year was shorter than anyone had thought, by about 11 minutes. Over time, those minutes became significant. You know, one day a century really wasn't going to cause them a big problem, except after 15 centuries it was beginning to add up. So Pope Gregory XIII ordered that 10 days from October 1582 be completely erased from the calendar. He also decreed that the new year would begin on January 1st, not in late March as it did before. The Protestant American colonies were slow to adopt the Pope's new system and used the old calendar for the next 200 years, celebrating the new year at the end of March. The Americans were considered fools, which is likely how April 1st became known as April Fool's Day.